and welcome to Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid month tarot forecast for May 2021. Now, it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself, not resonates. Leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell just to make sure my videos come through to you in your feed. And for those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. Now, there's a couple of giveaways this month. So if you are going to, if you are brand new, want to subscribe to my channel, when you hit that subscribe button, you go into the draw to win this beautiful Enchanted Map Oracle, and it also applies to those of you that are opting into my extended versions of my readings this month as well. You'll go into the draw to win this. I will uh, select somebody randomly and announce it at the end of the month on my YouTube channel. And for those of you that follow me regularly, I have not forgotten you, darlings. I thought, how unfair. I must do something for you as well. So I'll be giving away the Fairy Whispers Oracle to someone in my community that's been following me for a while who's a very positive, active community member. Yeah, So I'll be keeping my eye out for you this month and uh, I will announce that at the end of this month as well. And if you're wondering how to get a hold of my extended versions of my readings, all you need to do is hit the Join button on my channel or the very first link in the description box below. They're about 35 to 40 minutes long. Deeply transformational, inspirational, motivational. We dive deep into your general energies, anything. It's much more expanded in terms of what's coming towards you around finances, career, abundance, uh, love, certainly a lot around any states that you're in or challenges you're going through and guidance coming through on how to move through those states as well. Um, also going to have a look brand new decks that I've created in terms of your chakra balances and how connected and who you're connected to in terms of spirit world and divine gifts and talents as well as higher guidance from spirit so if you want to get hold of those all you have to do is hit that join button or the very first link in the description box below only 5.99 a month you get the monthly which always includes a love forecast as well as the mid-month so two for that 5.99 so go check that out um, also there's ten dollars off my personal readings this month so there's a coupon code going to pop up here grab that if you're interested in getting a bit more guidance support and I'll also put the booking info down below. That coupon code is case sensitive, so just remember that. And you can also stay connected with me on Instagram. Do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So come and say hi. You can see the behind the scenes stuff as well as what I get on to get up to in my personal life if you're so keen. Come say hi. All right, let's get started. So Libra, I'm going to be kicking off with predictions using the uh, beautiful Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. Oh, fly now. You've got the king of fire. He's very confident, self-assured. It can represent public speaking, stepping into the spotlight, um, being very motivated. Can certainly, you know, relate to those kind of things like coaching, acting, um, I don't know, having your own YouTube channel. Very much your throat chakra is definitely a divine gift and talent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you have a message you want to share with the world. Oh, this is gorgeous. You've also got the Empress here, which is very much about giving birth to your dreams, going after what it is you want. Um, I can also say to you that this could also be a divine pair coming through, and if it is, it's a very... Uh, there's a lot of strength in both parties yeah, in terms of confidence. We'll see what else comes out. Pretty much spirit saying whatever you put your mind to at this time, Libra, is going to bring your abundance, your prosperity in. You've also got the one of air, which is uh, very much you've got these brilliant ideas that you're working on, creative ideas. Spirit saying they just might need some refinement and just there's a beautiful butterfly sitting on his shoulder which represents um, new beginnings. Also, just make sure, just wait for perfect timing. And uh, you've also got renewal, which is very much about move, wanting to move in a different direction. It can, I mean, there's a family unit here. It can mean that you might want to relocate to a completely different suburb, state, country, uh, changing what you're doing, a need to change. You know, um, often that desire has probably been sitting with you for a while and it's really coming to the surface. Mm. 
This is gorgeous. You've got the Knight of Water. He's rushing in, spilling his cup everywhere. Um, a very passionate, romantic love offer coming in, darlings, particularly for those of you that are single or there's new love happening. Mm-hmm. And you've got the Knight of Earth, very much about planning and strategizing your next steps. He's got the fields behind him, which are breeding plowed. They're ready for seeding, yeah? But Spirit's saying, really take your time. Get really clear about your plans. Some of you are doing business ideas. I can just feel it coming through, yeah? Um, pay attention to the details. It's going to really help you get that traction, create a really strong foundation for your creative projects, things you're working on. What else does Libra need to know? Mm, wow. Got this massive transformation going on. Some of you may have had a bit of an epiphany, um, gone through a significant life event. Often we have to go through a significant life event when we do this level of personal change going on here. Um, often when that happens, we open ourselves up to new opportunities, more blessings to come into our life. Directly related to the Empress, which has given birth to your dreams. And uh, you've got the Queen of Water. She's very intuitive. She can have strong psychic ability. She's got the tarot next to her, so you may be somebody that regularly reads your own tarot. Uh, she's very watery energy, a love of family. Sometimes you can put friends and family before your own needs. Just watch that. Um, but very much tapped into your intuition, your spiritual guidance. There's certainly some divine pairs coming through here. So many kings and queens and coming through. You've also pulled the, key, the queen of air. Uh, she's got a sword in one hand. She's cutting through anything that no longer serves her. She's got l surrounded by butterflies. A lot of transformation going on. A lot of new beginnings. Yeah. Um, can certainly represent single people, divorced people. Um, if it is, there's a bit of a focus more on your career than love. But love is rushing in. And you've got the moon, which is very much trust in your intuition to guide you. Some of you have got some great ideas within you and Spirit's saying to just to trust yourself. What happens when we have a great idea? We have to launch it, my darlings. We have to take the steps to make it a reality. Mm -hmm. Some of you are deep in contemplation. All right, let's put you some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. You've got temperance, so Spirit's saying whatever you do, do it in a very balanced um, approach, yeah. it's um, As much as you want to just get running with things, Spirit's saying make sure whatever you do is very balanced and grounded. Oh, this is darling. You've got the Emperor and the Empress, yeah, um, the Emperor in this deck. Very similar to the Empress, which is giving, she's a bit more nurturing, giving birth to her dreams. The Emperor is a visionary. They don't let anything stop them. They create a global scale. Um, there's a lot of people they can bring together in terms of people working with others on a shared vision. Uh, beautiful, beautiful energy. Very powerful, very strong. Whether you're a guy or a girl. You've also got the Hermit, which is going within, seeking your spiritual guidance, finding out what really matters to you and trusting that. Directly related to the Queen of Water, which is your psychic insights. Clear guidance, please, Libra. And you've got the Page of Inspiration, these amazing inspired ideas coming to you. So much about your creativity. There's a line straight from heaven, by the way, or straight from the spirit world. So there's certainly helping to send inspired ideas to you. You're tapping into the creativity as well around the universe. So much color and passion.
me guidance, please. And uh, you've got the world, which represents cycle completions, brand new cycles starting in your life, can represent success, achievement for the efforts you've been making coming together for you. I'm going to say a lot of major arcanas coming out. All right, let's pull you some angel healing messages. What is it Libra needs to know? Mm, you got destiny, not surprised this has come out. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. Big focus on your big goals and dreams right now. You've also got achievement. It says it's time, take a little time to reflect on what you've achieved. It's often easy to forget where you started and how far you've come. Honour and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. Some of you are about to step up to the next level, dare I say. And you've also got adventure. Instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, try seeing it as an adventure. Explore all the possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as black or white, try to explore all the colours in between. So changing your perspective on how you're looking at things, particularly if there's any obstacles in your way, blockages in your way. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Cosmic Reading Cards. Beautiful Oracle deck by Nari Anastasia. Um, this one's put out by Rockpool Publishing. So if you like the Oracle decks I'm using, they're all listed down below. Ah, you pulled let go. So there's something you need to let go of or to surrender to. In terms of flow, let's pull you up the guidance. It says Libra, it's time to relinquish your need for control and let the leaves fall as they may. If you've drawn this oracle, it's time to release your tight grip on how you think the world and everyone in it should be. Letting go is an emotional, spiritual, physical and mental process of releasing yourself to the universal spirit of love. It's giving up your need to control the outcome of every situation and the control of the people you hold most dear. It can be a challenging time in many ways and Spirit asks you to have faith. Have faith that the universe will guide you and send forth the outcomes needed for your journey. And we understand you've been this way for a long time and this need for control stems from your youth when you were hurt, disorder or instability was felt. Spirit understands your need for caution, but holding on and controlling every aspect of your life is taking a toll. Hanging on so tightly does not bring the outcomes you desire. Instead, it serves to repel all that you cling to. Your soul longs to be free and dance through the winds of change. It, if you deny this part of you, the freedom to play, the universe will send you the right situational person to help unlock that free-spirited child in you. It may come at a time not suited to your plans and leave you feeling vulnerable and confused. And dear one, it is time. It is time to let go. Letting go of your need to control will set you and others free. Directly related to your solar plexus chakra. So it means it's affecting your sense of vitality, your energy. You might be having sleepless nights, overthinking things, worrying. Yeah, so just watch that. Um, there is an affirmation here. It says, great spirit. Please give me the strength to let go of all that I cling to. Divinely guide my thoughts, my words and actions with love and understanding. Beautiful guidance. Truly is. Mm -hmm. All right. Those of you watching the free version of this reading, those are your messages for the second half of May 2021. Uh, if you liked it, make sure hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, love to hear your feedback, your comments. I'm always answering them. So just yeah, come and say hi. And uh, if you'd like to get the extended version, we are going into that next. There's this beautiful sense of working on your ideas. Um, we'll certainly have a look at the Empress giving birth to your ideas. There is this uh, renewal going on, this transformation. We'll pull that out. Um, there's certainly a love offer rushing in, so we'll explore that further. Um, Certainly in terms of whatever comes out in the general energies around love, we'll be having a look at soulmate messages, messages, whatever that soulmate's going through, um, any relationship influences at the time, any attributes about them or yourself that you need to know about love. So we will dive quite a bit deeper into that. Mm -hmm. 
and I think there is I mean there's definitely a need for temperance there's this beautiful energy of empowerment and strength to get into too so we'll see what else comes out so uh, those of you leaving us right now it's been awesome to have you here make sure to come back VIP members those getting the extended hang around we're going into your general energies next